Hey guys, it's TJ coming to you with another video. This one's a little bit different. This uh, Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your own Hackintosh. Now, I built this thing probably several hundred times, and when you watch this video, I'm going to edit it all on this Mac. Now, this computer, main computer, second computer, uh, used to be my Mac. I've made it a Mac a thousand times, and I'm doing it again because I just found the perfect way to do it. So, uh, I'm going to share it with you. Uh, the list of all the components I have is in the description below. Um, and that's, uh, that's about good. Now I'm going to show you everything you have to do to get it to work. Now, first off, you need to go into your uh, BIOS settings. And to get here, all you have to do is simply click the, um, the delete key and start up. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but whatever, I'll navigate um, verbally too. The first thing you want to do is you want to go down to the advanced BIOS features. Well, actually, that's second, sorry. Integrated bullcrap. And you go to this PCH bullcrap right here. And naturally, it'll be set to um, IDE, right? You need to switch that to AHCI. Why? Don't ask. Just do it, okay? That's it. You're done. Literally, that's all you need. Okay. From there, you're going to go to Advanced BIOS Features, right? And then you need to go down to your first boot device, and you need to set it to CD-ROM, okay? And then the second and third, just disable them because... They're bull crap and you don't need it. Every time you want to switch boot, just come here and do it like this. It's the easiest way for this motherboard. I don't know why, it just is. Okay. Now from here you're gonna to wanna to have your um your uh boot disk in. Okay, just you can open your drive right now, whatever, put it in there if you feel like it. If it's not, I have it right here. Labeled it iBoot Legacy, you know, just so it's easy to remember, just easy to find. There it is. Close that. All good. Look at that. Then you just go down here to save and exit setup. Yes. Enter. And then you just wait for it to do its thing. Now in the description you're going to notice that I have two different graphics cards labeled. For this one, you're going to not want to have the Radeon. That was my garage door. Sorry. You're not going to want to have the Radeon. You're going to want to have the NVIDIA for this because it's stupid. Now if you look, you'll be like, whoa, when you go boot and I boot, there's all this crap. No, there's not. The only reason I have it is because I'm dual booting Mac and PC. If you want to know how to do that, I'll make another video, put it in the comments or something. But alright, so you're going to want to boot. You already booted, right? And so here you go. This is the screen you're at. What you want to do now is you want to take out the disk. See, look. I have legacy. Out. Bam. Take that out. Then you're going to throw this big boy in there. You know, Snow Leopard. The Snow Leopard retail disk. Now, you can pirate the retail disc, but there's so much crap with doing that, and you need a DVD that's larger than 4.7 gigabytes. So much crap. If you're gonna buy stuff, might as well pay the extra 30 bucks to Apple, 29.99. Get the retail disc. Seriously, save you so much trouble. At first, I was like, I'm not paying 30 bucks, but <laughs> after doing this for over a year and a half, the 30 bucks was worth it. All right, and then so, anyways, then after you put in and push F5, I didn't explain that, I just did it. Push F5, wait a little bit to refresh, and eventually this one over here, or over here, depending which monitor you're looking at, 19 inch or 27 inch, it'll say Mac OS 10, <clears throat> Mac OS 10, where my voice go there, installed it, DVD. Press enter, and then it'll try to boot from the install DVD, like you said. All right, sorry, almost broke my own rule there. I just had to go and take out the uh, rating card. Um, my bad. So that took forever. Pain in the butt. So I'm doing this again. Uh, anyways, for you who are wondering why I have two graphics cards, it's because, uh, you see, Snow Leopard is compatible with NVIDIA cards, not Raiden. So it won't even boot if you have a Raiden card in. However, you can use either card with Lion. I just chose to buy the additional rating card because it was a lot better. Uh, you can still run 1080, you can still do basically anything that most people would do and even like some film editors and 3D designers would do with the graphics card that I have in now. But I do more than more, so I'm a bit excessive. Oh yeah, and this monitor um, is HDMI. This one is not an HDMI, this one's just in the standard bullcrap. And so, because my bullcrap doesn't work with this bullcrap, uh, this, this display is not on. Now, this might take a little, a little tiny while to load. That's normal. 
uh, you see this little loading thing right here? How it's spinning? You're going to be so happy to have that all the time. You're going to love it. I'm being serious. Because that means it's doing something. Black text going down with a big error in the center, not doing something. That's bad. This, you will learn to love the crap out of this. All right, sorry guys. I literally just, <laughs> okay, I just shot the tutorial on how to make a Mac and I got near the end of Snow Leopard and I got an error and I was like, what? And then I looked at my instructions on my iPhone because I wrote down how to do this. Got another text. I wrote down how to do it and I skipped a step. So I'm literally gonna teach you guys again from this angle with my iPhone in my hand, making sure I'm doing this right. Now, basically this tutorial, it's, it may seem kind of weird, but this is, I hate explaining it again, because I already explained everything, but I'll try my best to, to not forget what I said. But this tutorial is good because it'll work if you just do exactly what I say, just because it'll work, it's good, um, you know, whatever. And, uh, oh, Snow Leopard, it's a pain in the butt. Once you get Snow Leopard, line is easy. And I'll explain everything again. Well, not again. I guess this is your first time hearing it. So I'm trashing all my old stuff, but I'm rebooting line again. Or Mac. Basically, I I put Mac on so many different computers, so many different times. Put on this computer like a trillion times. I found out something that a lot of other people who do Hackintoshes haven't found out. A uh, I don't think anyone's. I haven't read online anyone finding anything out like this. Basically, I'm going to be taking my original partition with uh, Snow, Leopard, Snow Leopard on it with all the kex and crap and... I don't know. I'll show you later. Okay, you're going to be using English because we're in America. Unless you're not in America, in which case... Good. And then, alright. Go to Utilities. Disk Utility. <sighs> Again. And then, oh yeah, I'm just showing you on this little 19 inch monitor. Whatever, gather disk information. Okay, you're not gonna have all this because I have uh, so many drives. Like I said, okay, go to here, your actual drive, not the partitions, you don't have those. I just this, go to your actual, the hard drive you want to put it on. Okay, this is the, what's gonna be Mac. Okay, you're gonna go to erase Mac OS extended journal. Name it something. Name it something that's one name. Like, this is what I used to name mine. Mac Pro. Like that. Capital M, capital P. I heard that, that you know, sometimes if you don't do just one word, that it, it won't work. I heard that. I don't know if it's true. But I would just do it. And you can rename it later if you feel so necessary. And then you push. Oh, yeah. Then you push erase. And then you're done. That was my garage door. But that's all you have to do. I, on the other hand, will be doing something different. Okay. See how I have multiple partitions? Yeah, you'll see those in a little bit but basically just do what I did I'm gonna be doing something else I'll be right back ignore what I'm doing alright then push um, the X to get out of that or the Windows Q which is command Q we'll be fixing that later too uh, now you're gonna go continue and uh, you agree unless you want to read all that then holy crap go to whatever you named your thing I named mine Kex crap you can name yours beef stroganoff for all I care install. You're going to wait about 30 minutes and I'll be right back when this is finished. So you're at this screen. Oh, now you're not. Alright, it'll restart for you. All that good stuff. If you want it to. Uh, yeah. Anyways, oh, for this part you need to put in the iBoot Legacy uh, disk again. Alright, I'm going to do that right now. Sorry. It's super late and I'm super tired because I just did this whole thing and now I have to do it again. But here we go. Okay, so iBoot's back in. So that means the Mac OS X Snow Leopard disc is out. Alright. And, uh, oh, that means, oh, if you see that, just turn off your computer. That means you took too freaking long to put in the disc and the motherboard hates you. Let's try it again. Okay. So, how's your guys' day going? That's great. Mine too. Alright. Here we are. At this stuff. Yes, good. Alright, I'll be back.